Dusty, how happy are you for uh, Brian Goodwin? Well, very happy. I mean, because everybody remembers their first homer and his first four-hit game. And, uh, you know, he's worked hard to get here. And, and he's working hard to stay here. And, uh, you know, especially in in Bryce's absence. You know, uh, you know, everybody picked it up, you know, in his absence. And uh, uh, very happy for Strauss. You know, because he wasn't real sharp. He kind of struggled tonight, but, you know, he made the pitches when he had to, and we played, uh, you know, good defense behind him. What, if anything, or, I mean, we, I feel like we've asked this a lot, but what are you seeing from Michael Taylor? He just seems like a little more comfortable, kind of. Well, yeah, and he's playing, and, and, he's, and he's, more, he's gaining confidence every day. You know, the whole key to playing is, uh, you know, is, is feeling confident and, and comfortable both, and, uh, and not putting pressure on yourself and just being natural above all. Like Ted Williams used to say, you have to be natural. And so, um, I mean, he's been playing, he's been playing lights out. What is just the the overall lineup depth that you have this year? What does that do to uh, maybe alleviate pressure on a lot of guys that they don't feel like they have to be the one on any given night? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we got a very formidable bench as well as uh, lineup. And, uh, you know, they don't have to feel like you know, one man has to do it all the time because, you know, anybody up and down that lineup can hurt you. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, we got a good team. We, we still, you know, got to get better and close up some holes. But, you know, in the meantime, we're, we're winning ball games. What do you think with uh, Murphy? He kind of really never goes through any kind of prolonged slumps. Uh, I guess, what do you think is the key for him that he stays so consistent in these last games? Well, you know, he has an idea. And that it starts with an idea, and then it turns an idea turns into a reality, and uh, you know, you know he he uses the whole field. I think that's that's the key, you know. And he's uh, good against left and right, uh, you know. And he thinks he can hit, and then that's the other part of it. You have to be very confident in your ability, but he's very, you know, he's very, uh, you know, humble about it at the same time. But you know. Um, I was always told that a guy doesn't reach his prime uh, spiritually, psychologically, and physically until he's about 30, 31, 32 years old. And then the next five to six years, as long as he stays healthy, should be, you know, tip-top years. And so, uh, you know, Merce on a run like that, he takes care of himself. He's a clean liver. And uh, so, you know, barring injury, um, you know, this should go on for a while.